Hey guys, this guy here from YCG, your casual gamer. And this episode I'm going to show you how to load and unload a streaming volume using blueprints only. So I have my trigger box over here that when you step inside it, it's going to load the second part of my stage, which is the 2-2 in my case. And when I reach the second box, it's going to unload the 2-1. So let's jump into play and show you what it's going to do. So it's unloaded now, I reach inside the box, it loads it, and when I reach the other side, it unloads the first part. Now for those that have been following the episode so far, I'm going to show you how to do a smooth transition between the first part of our level and the second, and the second one. So stay tuned! Alright, so b before getting started, we have a few things we have to do. So first off, the door, I'm going to open it just for uh, to show you what I'm doing. So this, I put it to 2855, those are my measures, just to put them up so that we see both levels over here. And the second thing is, since we're working now with uh, blueprints, we're going to need to get rid of the uh, streaming volume over here. So if you want to keep it, and you don't want to erase it right away, just put it to the side, just for now. And the next thing is, when you go inside the uh, level over here on the top, and the level tab, in the summon level details, you're going to go inside the 2-1, and if you have a streaming volume attached to it, like me, it was the uh, level streaming 2. If you have it attached to it, you have to unattach it. Now, to do that, you can either uh, delete it like this, or just press the trash can over here. And to make it different is I put the initially loaded and initially visible checked in. Before, if you've been following the episode, you would have them checked off. But when you check them on, it means that it's going to be fully loaded right away. So if I jump inside the level now, I'm going to be inside the level. And if you see on the top right corner, the 2-2 is not loaded because I only initially lit loaded the first part. And now you're ready to start. So make sure you're inside the 2-1 and we're going to make a, a trigger volume, uh, which is trigger volume like this. Bring it up and make sure you're holding on to it and go inside the level blueprint for the 2-1 factory or for your level two, level uh, streaming and we're gonna make an event according to the tri box trigger since we're selected on it. Add event, collision, add event on begin overlap and from over here we're gonna load level streaming load stream level like this we're going to make it visible after load should block on load is normally used when you have a loading screen per se so that means while the level is loading you might get a little glitch in your let's say depending on how big the level is you're going to get a little glitch that's going to stop everything that, that the player is doing just to allow the level to load. We don't need this in our case because the level that we're loading is so small that it's going to be instantly. It's going to be very fast. Now for the level name, you could just look over here and do the factory 2-2. But to make sure I have the right spelling, since it's going to be uh, key sensitive, I'm going to uh, press F2 on my map and control C and inside my level blueprint I'm gonna control V like this that way it's I'm sure that it this is how it's written and it's gonna work well now let's test it out see if it works save everything and get inside your level now if I walk up to this it loads the second part and it's that easy nothing is gonna unload it because I didn't set that up yet and nothing is going to unload the back part. And you can see, like, if the player is going to be meant to be an only this corridor, let's say, and he's going on forward, you don't need to have the, the backspace loaded and having your computer or the player's computer working for nothing for things that are not even supposed to be loaded anymore. So that's why we unload them. So now, selecting on this uh, the other level, I'm going to make another trigger volume drag it in like this and I'm really just gonna do the same thing but backward so now well it's still gonna be an event overlap so I go inside the 2-2 main blueprint 
I'm going to make a on overlap event. But now I'm just going to unload string volume. And again, same thing. I just need the correct spelling. So control C, control V, like this. And there you have it. This is how you use the blueprints. Now it could be anything. It, you could have set this inside your blueprint that it just loads a certain level and it's going to work. And this is what we're going to actually do after for those that have been following my episodes. So now let's just see if this works first. I want to put it pretty far, the box, just to make sure my player really has to step in to uh, make the change. So I go and now it's going to load like we did before. And when I reach inside the level, the oop, <laughs> I did a mistake. I actually have to put the dash one. Uh, you guys can laugh at the screen if you want. But uh, that's how you can really get uh, distracted sometimes. I'm going to keep that actually. So now let's uh, try it again. I do that. And then this is supposed to 2-1. And now it works. See how uh, just a little 1 and a 2 can make a big difference in your whole life. So, uh, alright. So now you've learned how to do the streaming volume method using blueprints. Hopefully that helped a lot. Now, for those that have been following the episode, let's uh, go on and carry on our program with that. So I'm going to keep the volume that I did in the 2-2 because we actually need that one. Now I'm just going to uh, get rid of the first one. So to make sure, I uh, just want to get rid of this like that, just so there's no conflict between the reference. And we're going to keep the 2-2 open. And this one over here, we can get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. Now let's reset our door. Let's put that to, uh, it was minus, it was two, three, five, five. So just 500 down. So now when you go and you want to open the door, so you just, you just restore the power. So inside the 2-1, over here, let's go back inside. And um, so when you activate the door, the alarm goes on, the interaction, the sound goes, and now this over here, just before this happens, you want to load your level because you want the level to be loaded so that visually it's already loaded before the door opens. So now uh, load level, load stream level. And now I should have kept my writing. I'm going to go and grab this over here. I think that's the right one. Actually, it's, it's not, but I'm just going to change the one into a two and then it's going to work make it visible should block no no not necessary like i said and now it should work now for the second part i actually created another door that's right over here and we're going to shut this door off on our player and then unload the first part afterward so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have let's say this over here I'm going to make, so if I go inside the first part over here, I have all this over here that I can just grab. Actually, I don't need this part. I'm just going to need this. Control C. And then I'm going to make sure that you want the door to close first. So like this. And you see, that's another reason why I put the, I put the trigger box so far to make sure that the player doesn't have the time to run back. Because, you know, you're gonna, always going to have those trolls that want to make your level not work. Now that's, you know, all my friends, that's how they go. They come to my house and they always find a way to break my game. And, you know, I don't mind that because it teaches me to make my level smarter. So now, that's it like that. Now we need the static mesh, which is the door, over here. And make sure you're selected on it. Go inside the 2-2 and make a reference. And you just have to connect it to the static mesh component over here. Now it's going to get, so it's the same thing as when we open the door. The only difference is the, the door is going to go up when you're opening it. So now you don't need this. It's going to, you're going to replace it by a minus. So minus vector. And on the Z axis is going to be 500. So minus 500. And the time, I'm going to make it faster just to make sure the player, like I said, doesn't have the time to come back. 
So then everything should work. And if you want, you can just put the sound of the uh, door again. So play sound 2D. Or to make it the a lazy way, you have it over here. Control C. Delete that. And just Control V. So now the door is going to close. And then it's going to unload the first part of the level. So let's test it out to see if it works. So this should be at uh, 2855, like this. All right. So now I get inside the level over here. Let's start up top over here. Press the button. The energy comes back. When I open the door, you see that the other level is already loaded. And when I reach on the other side, closes the door, and it's unloaded the first part. Oh! See, I again forgot something for my troll friends. The do once. Which should only do once. That way you can't do this twice and break the program. So that's it, you're done. And now it's gonna work properly because it just because I didn't put this it would carry out the event every time I overlap it, and that's not what I want. Like I did over here, I just did do once, because it's an, uh, an action that's supposed to happen only once in my level. So hope that helps a lot, uh, a lot of people. I really like using this method. As you, you, you think of like Resident Evil games, where you know they had that door that would load, and you could just load the other the other uh, room next after, and you can imagine how much material, how much... Uh, depth they can put inside a scene because everything else around is unloaded every time. So keep that in mind if you're trying to create that, that kind of game. And in the next episode we're going to be uh, making all the alarm lights go off at the same time using the uh, for each loop and how to make an array through several uh, assets inside your level. So see you next time. Have a good day.